मौसम से जुड़ी जानकारी और लाइव मौसम खबरों के लिए हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकॉन दबाकर हर अपडेट पर रखें नजर वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज महेश फलावत आई एम वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ मेट्रोलॉजी एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज एट स्काई मेट वेदर स्काई मेट हैज कम आउट विद मानसून फोरकास्ट फॉर टू अकॉर्डिंग टू स्काई मेट द मानसून सीम्स टू बी बिलो नॉर्मल नाइनटी ऑफ एल पी एट सिक्स एट पॉइंट बिलो नॉर्मल मानसून is between 90 to 95 percent as of now the oceanic and atmospheric variables are consistent with anso neutral conditions and gradually it will become al nino condition the al nino is evolving and during monsoon seasons it will make a more dominant as monsoon progresses another there are many factors which impact the monsoon after triple dip planina this is the al nino period the, after triple dip planina four consecutive good monsoons the monsoon 2023 seems to be below normal and there are many variables or you can say uh, factors which usually impact the monsoon one is indian ocean dipole in 2019 despite al nino conditions indian ocean dipole was strong strongly positive and it negates the impact of al nino and monsoon uh, become above normal so this year also despite al nino conditions the indian ocean dipole seems to be slightly positive but we have to wait and see whether it will be able to negate the impact of al nino or not but as of now it doesn't seems to be now these are the slides 94% that is 816 0.5 mm lpa is 868.6 mm june to september and we expect the monsoon rains will be a 94% of long period average this is the slide of june to september what will be the monsoon rains between june july august and september the probability of below normal monsoon seems to be 40% normal monsoon will be 24 25% Above normal chances are fifteen percent, and zero percent chances of excess rain. However, drought chances are twenty percent. That is between June and September. Now we'll go through June, July, August, and September. What what will be the uh, distribution of rainfall? Uh, this is the another slide which shows the monsoon rain normal versus actual. the forecast the normal for june is 165.3 mm and forecast uh, or you can say uh, the forecast is 164 uh, mm and normal for july is 280 decimal 5 mm but we expect the rain fall will be around 266.7 mm for august july and august rainfall is very high 280 and 254 Uh, in august the normal rainfall is 254.9 mm whereas expected rain is 234.8 mm and september june and september rainfall uh, uh, the average rainfall reduces as the monsoon starts withdrawing so the normal rainfall in the month of september is 167.9 mm but expected rain is 151.0 mm for the month of june we expect the monsoon rain will be 99% of long period average for june the long period average rainfall for june is 165.3 mm but we expect the rain to be 99% of this rainfall the chances of normal rainfall seems to be 70% whereas above normal 10% and below normal 20% this is for june for july the average rainfall the average rainfall will be 95% of long period average that is 280.5 mm the chances of normal rainfall seems to be 50% above normal rainfall seems to be 20% and below normal 30% the below normal chances are increasing and normal rain fall chances are decreasing in comparison to june now the impact of al nino will be felt in august and september therefore we expect that the rainfall for august will be 92% of lpa the long period average for august the long period average rainfall for august is 254.9 mm but we expect the 
rainfall will be 94 percent of this average now you can see below normal rainfall chances have increased significantly in the month of august and they are 60 percent normal rainfall 20 percent and above normal 20 percent but more chances of below normal rainfall now for september again in the month of september monsoon starts withdrawing and long period average rainfall is 167.9 millimeter but we expect the rainfall to be 90 percent of this average so below normal rainfall chances have increased further and they are around 70 percent normal rainfall 20 percent and above normal just 10 percent the this is the rainfall distribution june to september across the country so you can see the deficient rain of western and northern parts of the country the monsoon usually reaches northwest India in the end of June. Below normal rain for central and eastern parts of the country, central and eastern parts of the country, normal rainfall for South Peninsula except Kerala and coastal Karnataka. This Kerala and coastal Karnataka may be below normal, but other parts of South Peninsula seems to be getting normal rainfall. For the month of June, as we have seen, the departure will be uh, 1%. Minus 1% normal rainfall for country, good rains for South Peninsula, monsoon yet to advance over Northwest India. June, uh, we, we, uh, we know that monsoon usually advances in the end of June to Northwest India. So, chances of below normal rainfall because monsoon does not reach oh, uh, these areas. So, Jammu Kashmir, uh, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, Delhi, Rajasthan, Gujarat, all these areas will remain rain deficient. But uh, normal rainfall seems to be over. Uh, East India, Northeast India, some parts Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, NNMT, NMMT will receive uh, below normal rainfall and some parts of Central India may also suffer. In the month of July, the monsoon usually covers entire country, a rainfall departure is 5%. Normal rainfall Tamil Nadu, India Karnataka, Odisha, Assam and Meghalaya, these areas and also rainfall seems to be good over hills punjab parts of uh, uttarakhand and haryana and august the rainfall departure is minus eight percent deficient rain for gujarat rajasthan madhya pradesh punjab and haryana northwest and central india seems to be uh, impacting uh, the rainfall will get impacted due to al nino conditions uh, the there will be deficient rain over Rajasthan, Gujarat and parts of uh, uh, western parts of Madhya Pradesh as well as northern parts of Maharashtra. And many parts of central India, east India and south Peninsula will also suffer. However, some parts of hilly states as well as northeast India that is uh, Assam, Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim and uh, Indo-Gangetic plains may receive good rainfall. Tamil Nadu and Odisha will also get benefited because in the month of uh, uh, August usually low pressure area sometimes develop over Bay of Banga and they uh, sometimes move over eastern east, east coast of the country leading to good rainfall. In September monsoon starts withdrawing and uh, the September the rainfall departure is minus 10 percent. All already rainfall start reducing in the month of September and there is a departure of minus 10 percent. Therefore monsoon withdraw from Rajasthan and Punjab and Haryana in the uh, uh, month of uh, September below normal rain for Gujarat, Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh. Then this, these areas, particularly Gujarat, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, there seems to be uh, uh, getting lesser rainfall throughout the monsoon. So this is all and uh, this is the, as of now, the, uh, the ANSO forecast seems to be in uh, the ANSO neutral conditions are there and they gradually evolving only you know, will be there and june july august al nino will be more than 60 percent and july august september it will be around 68 percent then august september actor also it will be 65 percent so you can see impact of al nino will be felt in second half of monsoon that's all for now thank you मौसम से जुड़ी जानकारी और लाइव मौसम खबरों के लिए हमारे YouTube चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकॉन दबाकर हर अपडेट पर रखें नजर